The Princess of Wales has been diagnosed with cancer and is in the early stages of treatment. She revealed in a recorded statement that her condition was discovered after she had abdominal surgery in January. In one month, news about the British royals has been shocking. From the photo controversy early March to the Princess of Wales' announcement of cancer diagnosis and chemotherapy treatment on Friday. This announcement comes two months after Kate stepped away from public life, temporarily following what Kensington Palace said at the time was surgery for a non-cancerous abdominal condition. After weeks of speculation about her health, the Princess of Wales said she and her husband, Prince William, had needed time to explain the situation to their three children. An incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. The news, which the princess described as a huge shock, has prompted a wave of sympathy from the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and the White House. After a shocking revelation, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said Prince of Wales has the love and support of the whole country. The Prime Minister in a statement on X said that Kate Middleton has shown tremendous bravery with a statement and that his thoughts are with her and in particular three children. For the White House, the Biden administration is incredibly sad to hear of the news. Moments after the news broke, White House Press Secretary said on Friday, quote, Our thoughts are with the Duchess of Cambridge and her family members and friends during this incredibly difficult time and certainly we wish a full recovery. From the Buckingham Palace, King Charles said, he is, quote, so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did following the announcement by the Princess of Wales that she had cancer. Buckingham Palace said King Charles, who was also diagnosed with cancer following a procedure for an enlarged prostate, remains in the closest contact with his beloved daughter-in-law. Both the Majesties will continue to offer their love and support to the whole family through this difficult time, end quote. Here is what we know about the Princess of Wales announcement. The Princess of Wales has been diagnosed with an unspecified form of cancer and is in the early stages of treatment. She underwent major abdominal surgery in January with a condition initially thought to be non-cancerous. The surgery, which took place at the London clinic, was successful. After 13 nights in hospital, the princess left the clinic on the 29th of January. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Kassantin Pala said it would not be sharing any further medical information about the form or state of cancer that was discovered. For more on this, a lecturer, Politics and International Relations, Liverpool Hope University, Dr. Bola Adidino joins me on the news. Thanks for joining us on TVC News at 10. But what is the implication of this diagnosis on the royal family? I think that uh, in some ways it gives them uh, some breathing space. Uh, you will rec recall that over the last uh, month or so, there has been a lot of speculation about the, uh, the whereabouts of Kate Mid Middleton. Uh, there have been conspiracy theories saying that the, the, the palace officials um, have, have, um, are, are, have been very coy about the health status of, of Kate Mid Middleton. And just a couple of days ago, we found out that there was a nurse in the hospital where Kate was, um, was treated in January, was trying to access uh, medical records. That, is, that shows you the level of public interest in knowing the state of our health. So coming out and have, uh, doing this uh, two minutes or three minutes video rec uh, uh, rec uh, recording on BBC and um, sort of dispelling the rumors and, and, and coming out with the facts will give the royal family a breathing space. I think it would also 
uh, bring some trust back into the royal family because I, I think one of the consequences of all the uh, rumors over the last one month or so is that people were beginning to think that uh, the, the royal family were uh, being, could not be trusted with, with whatever came out from, from them, especially on the back of uh, uh, the doctrine of, uh, of pictures by Kit Middleton on, on Mother's Day. And already the palace said it would not be sharing any further medical information about the form or state of cancer that was discovered. Uh, what's the reaction to that and how do you think Britons and the world are actually receiving that news? I think it's a, it's a very sad news, uh, not only because she's a mother, uh, a mother of three, uh, but also she's a wife and she's a beloved daughter of, of a family. And anybody who has uh, had family members, friends, who have gone on, on a gun cancer, it is a, it's, uh, it, it's a scary disease, really. Um, and this is also on the back of the, the as you said in your report, um, King Charles' diagnosis in, in about the same time in January. Uh, um, so it, it is incredibly sad, but we must also put it within context. And the context is that more and more people have been diagnosed by can uh, of cancer uh, daily. More than 1,000 people daily are, are, are diagnosed of cancer in the UK. There are more than 3 million people who uh, are living with some form of cancer in the UK at the moment. So yes, it brings more visibility to the facts about cancer, but it's the reality is that one out of two people in the UK will have some form of cancer, cancer before uh, be, uh, at some point during their life. So uh, that's the reality of, of what we are dealing with. And we know that uh, the monarchy has, you know, over time supported some worthy cause. We know that uh, King Charles III himself uses uh, prostate diagnosis to actually uh, make a case for treatment and for people to actually get tested. And here we have uh, the Princess of Wales herself giving assurances to people whom I believe in with cancer, the fact that they shouldn't lose faith or hope. How reassuring is that? Very actually, uh, two very prominent individuals coming out uh, to share their cancer diagnosis. I think that, as you've rightly mentioned, it will increase not only attention, funding for, probably uh, uh, for, for, uh, uh, for cancer research will increase. I, I believe that donations by the public to uh, 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 hospitals, research centers interested in uh, you know, in treating all forms of cancer will increase. And that's the nature of this business. When there is public visibility around certain issues, public interest, uh, there is uh, oftentimes uh, a corollary of, uh, of that is uh, uh, increase in funding. But at the same time, I think it is also good for people to be aware of the realities of this, which is, as I said before, one in two people will be diagnosed with, uh, of cancer at some point during their lifetime in the UK. And the, and, and, and the reality also is that we have to be more careful about uh, some of the, the sort of environmental factors that lead to cancer. I'm not a cancer expert, but these are, these are the facts that we, we get from basically reading and being aware of, uh, 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 of situations uh, like this. All right, then uh, lecturer, politics and international relations at the Liverpool Hope University, Dr. Bola Adidion. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on TVC News at 10. Thank you for having me.